Hi, my name is Chris Dudley. I live in uh, Brian's Road, Matthews Road, next to Ms. Matthews. Good evening. Um, hi. So, um, yeah, what Kevin said about climate change is correct. You know, if, if the uh, water is going to rise, don't build there. Um, we ought to be thinking a little bit about 500-year floods coming at us um, more frequently, maybe once every 100 years. And uh, that's an effect of climate change that we... Th we, we can probably expect it to occur. Um, because of that, you might want to consider um, phasing out regions that are going to be in, in danger of flooding in the comprehensive plan or put that as condition for the next comprehensive plan because it is going to be a problem. Okay, I, I want to address this growth issue because we're, we're we heard Mr. Ball talk about that a little bit, and we've heard a number of land spec speculators talk about that in terms of economic growth, and they're really talking about more housing. Um, we can have economic growth without population growth. It's obvious that this country has been growing more economically than it has been growing in population for a very long time, for more than 300 years. So. This idea that the only way to get economic growth is to build more and more and more houses is incorrect. And we really should separate those two things. Now, I believe that some of the proposals here are moving us back towards scenario one, which when we were asked, when the, the uh, residents of the, of the county were asked what sort of comprehensive plan they wanted. They said they very strongly preferred scenario one. So I think that that's good. We're moving back towards scenario one. But we really ought to address these growth numbers in the comprehensive plan and not aim for a high growth rate. In fact, a zero growth rate might be the best thing to do for a period of a decade just so that we get our schools settled and our seniors are not, you know, our, our, our people rising from middle school are not wondering about what high school they're going to go to because it's all up in the air all the time. If we were to not build houses that aren't replacing existing houses that need to go anyway because of their flood danger that will be coming up, that would be a smart thing to do, actually, for a while. Can you, give sum, it, can give you it, summarize? Give it a please. break. Okay. So to summarize, economic growth is not housing growth. And when people imply that it is, it really isn't correct, and we shouldn't look at it that way. Thank you. Thank you.